Okay. We are given the diagram where as a circle is inscribed in a square as shown. If OB is 3 root 2 cm, then the area of the shaded region is dash. Okay. So what I will do, I'll first join F to H. I'll join F to H. So once I join it, you can you can see that we'll form a rectangle. Rectangle F B C H. Rectangle F B C H. And assuming we shaded this region. Assuming this part of the region shaded. You notice that the area of the shaded region that is here, here and here is the area of the rectangle minus area of the semicircle. That is it. But we are giving just this and this. And since the center of the circle, this is the center of the circle, and this is the vertex of the square, that is the big square. So you see that this line OB is an angle by sector. Yes, because it passes through the center of the circle or it is from the vertex of this small square. So what so I'm saying that this angle is forty five. This in this angle forty five forty five here is forty five forty five degrees. Here is also forty five. So since OB is 3 root 2, this should be 3 and 3. Yes, that's, this is night. So this is 45. So this is 3 and 3 for OB to be 3 root 2 using 45 45 90 triangle theorem. Yes. So we now have a rectangle of side. This is also three of sides three and six. Why we have a circle of radius three cm. So what we are looking for is the area. Therefore, so I'm saying that FB is 3 that is the, which is the radius of the circle by 45 45 90 triangle theorem therefore area shaded is equal to i told you that assuming we shaded this region the area of the shaded is area of the rectangle Minus area of the semicircle. But they didn't give us this part. I just say let's let's shade this so that we can see what is happening. So meaning that the area shaded now is now three over four because assuming I join O to C, it will also bisect this shaded part into two equal parts. So we have like two of them, one, two here, and one, two, that's four. But we are giving, giving three out of four, so we have three over four of the total area. Do you get the logic? One, two, assuming I still join O to C. Okay, maybe let me join it. So do you see it? If I have joined O, C, so we have one, two, three, four. So but out of the four, we are giving three, except this. So that's why I did 3 over 4. So that with that, it's now easy for us to solve. So we have 3 over 4. The rectangle, the area is 3 times 6. That's 3 times 6. Minus area of a semicircle is half pi r squared. And the radius is 3. So 3 squared. So we have... This is now 2 and this is 3. So 3 times 3, 9, 9 times 3, 27. We have 27 over 2 minus 
So this is now nine. Nine times that is twenty-seven pi over eight. But we don't have something like that. So meaning this this substituted pi is twenty-two over seven. So I have twenty-seven over two minus twenty-seven times twenty-two over seven over eight. So this is twenty-seven over two minus is two two eleven times seven twenty-seven is two nine seven four times seven is twenty-eight so the LCM is twenty-eight so twenty seven times fourteen is this is three three seven eight minus two nine seven so which is eighty one over twenty eight so that is our answer c m squared which is option b so it's a very simple question but tricky Thank you.